Oh, oh gosh, oh my god. It was just a dream. I thought it was a. Oh, baby. Baby. Oh, yeah, you girl, you bad. Hold up, wait a minute. You ain't bad. What? Oh, hold up. Oh, you ain't the same. Hell, nah. You ain't the same woman I'm married. This ain't my home. Nah. Nah, get your hands on me. I thought you was a baddie. Hey, everybody, it's your boy Jonas, and welcome back to my channel, More Like Jonas. And I decided this time to do a video game review, actually. Video game review on the first Alan Way remastered so remind you guys i've never actually played or experienced alan wake before up until now i've heard of the game before i've heard of that game i've heard of uh quantum break i've yeah heard of control i heard that control the game control is connected to alan wake the universe so that's pretty crazy and pretty neat so they have their own type of like MCU type, you know, like universe in a way, but it's more like Remedy game universe. But anyway, it's pretty awesome. And, you know, I just wanted to kick it off with y'all. I really enjoy the Alan Wake game. I'm so surprised I've never discovered it and played it hands on before. And honestly, you don't even have to catch up to number one to get into number two because i'm pretty sure they'll show you like a story recap or something like that because i saw a little bit of gameplay but um for me i wanted to get like the hands-on experience and i wanted to like experience like each moment and each event that takes place in the first one you know so i could just be like completely oblivious of what's going on and what happens next so the game is like full of suspense i really enjoy it I enjoy the story. It starts off slow, you know, with uh, Alan Wake and his wife. They go on a little vacation. He's trying to get away from his, you know, usual career. He's trying to get away from doing what he does best, and that's, you know, being a writer. So, I have noticed that when playing the first Alan Wake, the game has more of a blue hues to it. But as I saw the game, some of the gameplay for Alan Wake 2, I noticed that they have more of a red hues in the game. So you see a lot more red color in the second one and a lot of blue color in the first one. So that's pretty neat. But yeah, the story of Alan Wake is really just, it's really compelling. Like it's always leaving you on edge and it's such a thriller. I think the best way to describe this game would be if you were a writer, you were writing like your life depended on it. Cause see me, every now and then I do write. Uh, Cause see me, I'm more of an artist person. So I draw, I paint. I mostly, you know, do a lot of artwork and stuff like that. Every now and then I do write. But this um, video game, it just goes to show it, writing like your life depended on it. So he's writing stuff that comes to life and writing stuff that you know depends on his own life and the life of his wife and everything like that but yeah it's pretty amazing like pretty awesome game like the game i finished it and it was just i thought we was done but it's like no way this can't be the end can it that's why they have Alan way part two so it's a pretty awesome game so i think you would definitely enjoy it but yeah, Remedy games, they really have a win for sure. I've noticed that even from back in the PS2 era, uh, me and my bros, we used to play like Max Payne and stuff like that. I think that if you're a gamer, you'll enjoy the game. And even if you're a writer, a person who likes, you know, storytelling, you'll definitely enjoy this video game. You'll like the narrative. And, you know, me personally, because you know i like to be creative um you know i'm a creative person i like to do artwork and stuff like that so with writing this video game playing ellen wake definitely inspired me to do a little more writing on my free time so it just feels more like you know you feel like you have more like power uh you know using your hands and you know doing the physical writing and stuff like that i do typing and stuff every now and then i do writing and stuff so you know whether it's like reflections or something like that i like to do writing but playing alan wake it inspires me to write more it inspires me to you know see the power in writing 
My favorite part of the game would have to be episode four, episode five. I say episode four because it starts off Alan Wake, he was unconscious, he wakes up, he's in a psychic ward and pretty much the things that he's been telling, people don't believe him. They think that he's just, you know, making up stuff because he's a writer, of course. So he's like treated as, you know, one of the patients and then he eventually has to escape. But, you know, the place gets overrun by Taken. So um, after that, later he meets up with his friend Barry and then um, him and his friend Barry, they go to uh, the property that belonged to uh, the old guys who were in the psychic ward. And um, they were, you know, like an old rock band, uh, the Asgard band. So it was a pretty cool scene, like it was pretty cool. And um, they had this part where you had to uh, protect Barry on a concert stage. So you're on stage and with the fireworks and everything and you have like all this ammunition and you have like uh, spend the whole time to defend Barry while he's freaking blasting the, the music, blasting the rock music. But yeah, that was a pretty cool moment. And I think that was my favorite episode of the whole game. My personal rating for Alan Wake Remastered, a uh, scale of one to 10. I would give it a 8.5 out of 10 or a 8 out of 10. That's my personal, you know, thoughts on it. Because it's just awesome, solid game, solid story, suspenseful. It's not like super, super scary, but it's definitely in the horror genre, you know, psychological horror. I will definitely dive into some other games from Remedy, such as Control, because crazy, Control came out like 2019 or something, and I've never played it before. I saw like, you know, like a trailer, saw like a little bit of gameplay for it, but I never actually got into it and never played it before. So that's definitely one of the games I will be playing soon. And um, Alan Wake 2, definitely have to get into that one, of course, because I played the first one. So yeah, this one is definitely an 8.5 out of 10. Awesome game. So I appreciate you guys for tapping into my video, watching my review video. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you want to see any more uh, video game reviews on, you know, any type of video game that I may have or that you may want me to get and review it. So, yeah, I appreciate you guys and hope you guys have a blessed day. Thank you.